Hello everyone, a different type of video here, but this is worth a quick look. So the UK said it's working to see if it can send prototypes of the Dragonfire laser energy weapon to Ukraine. Dragonfire is basically a laser beam weapon designed to be fitted on warships to shoot down enemy drones and missiles. It's an extremely cheap system, at least its usage, costing only £10 a shot. It's able to hit targets the size of a £1 coin from a kilometre away, but its exact range is unknown. It works via some technical gibberish and wizardry, which I didn't understand. But the explanation on the Telegraph's website says it consists of 37 channels of 1.5 kilowatt laser beams, arranged in a hexagon shaped array, and uses mirrors to merge and amplify the power, creating a perfect laser beam. This can't be seen by human eyes, so if Ukraine uses it, we're not going to see a Star Wars type thing with visible lasers flashing overhead and that sort of thing. It's being used in trials to destroy drones and mortars. Now the effect isn't immediate. It works by heating the surface metal into 3000C plasma and can burn through metal, fuselage and weapons and destroys the target in under 5 seconds. It works in conjunction with a radar identifying the threat with the target being tracked. Then. A laser is launched, which basically burns through it, destroying it. So, these sound pretty good. And given they've been tested successfully against mortars, it sounds like they are very accurate as well. It is designed to be used from ships, but it has been tested, fitted to a wolfhound chassis. So if sent to Ukraine, I expect we may see the wolfhound sent with these mounted. Or maybe even the supercat chassis. The supercat chassis is quite likely, as we've seen that being used to make a ground-based launcher for brimstone missiles and turned into a very successful SAM system as well. I don't expect many will be sent. This is still an experimental weapon, not due to enter service until 2027. So I don't think there'll be huge amounts of these available. But no doubt, Russia will claim to have destroyed them all a couple of weeks before they even arrive in Ukraine. For the UK, this will be positive as well, as they get to test a new laser weapon in a natural war and see how effective it actually is in a combat situation. So hopefully these get sent. They're not going to be a game changer, but Ukraine needs anti-aircraft and anti-drone weapon systems. So these are going to help a lot. And if they're successful early on, I expect production will be increased to get more in Ukraine. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks very much and take care everybody.